The Wildlife Rescue Unit here in Sabah do an incredible job. They're out there fighting for the future of the elephant and all species here in Sabah and against the odds. So I want to join their team, live their lives and be a wildlife rescue ranger. I want to understand the deeper issues that are affecting species at crisis point today and I bet I'm going to have an absolute adventure like no other in the process. The Wildlife Rescue Unit have come to the Borneo Elephant Sanctuary to do the weekly checkups on the elephants and there's been a report that one of the elephants has a little bit of a bad eye so we're going to take a look at that with the vets and see what the problem is and hopefully try to do something about it. All the elephants at the Borneo Elephant Sanctuary are specially trained to have chains put around their ankles as a precautionary measure whenever medical procedures take place. This is for the safety and security of the elephants as well as the wildlife rescue team. These are wild animals after all, so it's important to take these precautions. This is Limba and Limba has a suspected eye infection and what the vet's going to do is put a fluorescent strip inside her eye which will coat the eye with a dye and if there's a problem like an ulcer or an infection that dye will stick to that particular part of the eye or it will just coat the eye and pass through indicating that there's no infection, it's just an irritation in which case the vet will probably just administer an antibiotic solution just to wash the eye out. Nothing. It's no easy task to get the relatively tiny fluorescent strip into Limba's eye, but finally the vet managed to insert it just long enough for the dye to take effect. The fluorescent dye passed through the whole eye and didn't reveal any infection. So the vet simply administered an antibiotic solution to wash the eye out, which was great news for Limba. Okay, that was amazing. Limba was so good, so I'm going to give her a carrot. Come on, Limba, you did such a good job. Such a good job. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. Here, have another one. Have another one. Oh my gosh. Absolutely incredible. You're so beautiful. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. I haven't got any more carrots, baby. I haven't got any more carrots. I'm now right in the heart of the Wildlife Rescue Unit and I'm here in Porto Key at the Holding and Wildlife Rescue Centre here to help with the gibbons. Now these gibbons are endemic to Borneo. They're called the Bornean gibbon or the Northern Grey gibbon or the Mullery gibbon and they are here probably as a result of the illegal pet trade. The mothers are either killed or eaten and the babies are sold on. So I'm here to help out and hopefully rehabilitate them back into the wild. Now I have to give them their medicine today because they're suffering from a bout of Bolantidium coli which gives them diarrhea and that can be fatal. So part of the wildlife rescue unit's job is to save these creatures and administer their daily medicine and food. Okay, so before we go in uh, the holding area of the Gibbons, we need to make sure that we're wearing the appropriate protection equipment. So we need you to suit up with gloves and the mask. Okay, and why do we wear these gloves? Um, we do this for the protection of Gibbons and ours, since there are a few diseases that can be transmitted from them to us or from us to them. So like parasites and bacteria? Yes, and viruses, just a lot of diseases that can be transmitted. So since we're in contact with their food, and also the rangers go in to clean up uh, their holding areas, then we need to make sure that we're protected. And it can be lethal to these Yes, creatures. yes, yes, it can. Okay, well so. then we better suit up. Now I really am a wildlife rescue ranger. Come on, let's go. Okay. The Bornean gibbon ranks among the smaller of the gibbons and inhabits the northern and eastern part of the island. Unlike the majority of gibbon species, Muller's gibbon does not show sexual dimorphism in the coloration of its fur. The fur of both males and females is grey or brown coloured with a ring of bright fur around the face. 
there is also often a darkly coloured cap on its head. So I'm now going to prepare the medicine for the gibbons and uh, what we've got here is some powdered milk. So I'm going to put this in. It's about three of these, right? Yeah. Three heaped tablespoons here. And then we add water just to make it a little paste. About that much? Uh, a little bit more? That should be okay because we're going to add more liquid. Okay, uh, great. Test the medicine served. So we just give that a stir. Maybe a little bit more or not? Is that good? That's good. Uh, that's good. We can just add the syrup and then we can see how thick or liquid it still is. All right. So now we add the medicine? Yes. So each gibbon has a specific amount of this medicine to treat the B. coli, which is giving them diarrhea at the moment. But hopefully this is going to do the trick when we put it in their food so they'll be fit and well to be able to be released back into the wild. It is quite difficult uh, to plan and release them into the wild given the fact that gibbons pair for life. So um, since they come from Petri, they usually uh, pair up with the owner. So um, once they're separated uh, from their partner, it's very hard for them to adapt to living in the wild. So that's why here we try um, to pair them up as much as possible. So if one day there's the opportunity to release them, they can do so with their partner. 3.1 ml of this medicine to go into the mixture. And I just put it in? Yeah, and then just stir with a spoon. Give that a little stir around. And this is going to go on the food. That's what it looks like. I wouldn't want to eat it, that's for sure. Okay, so I'm going to chop down some branches now to put in the cages of the gibbons for enrichment that they can play with and they'll also feed on the leaves and things. So it's very important to do this. So uh, I'm just going to chop this down. I feel bad chopping a tree down, but I guess it's for the greater good and it will grow back. And here goes timber! Yeah! So we're going to put the bushes that we've cut down uh, into their cages for enrichment. Uh. Hello. Oh. And here he is. Are you going to enjoy that? I think you are, aren't you? Okay, now one of the gibbons Ganas has an extra antibiotic, doxycycline. So I'm going to put two little parts of a pill, which is actually human medication, and crush it up on here like this. And then I'm going to disguise it by cutting out a little, little space here in the orange so that she doesn't suspect a thing. Be very careful, I don't want to waste it. And there they go. It's breakfast time. <laughs> <laughs>